women. <laughs> Hi. Hi, true. What's your name? Samuel Wafula. So, Wafula, yes. the question of today is do you know where the G spot is? G spot, you happy? Congratulations, you played yourself. Do you love me? I love you. Wrong. Love is a scam. Chase money. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. What? Three years. Are you sure you don't love me? I don't. Edna, if you're sure you don't love me, if you're sure there is not even a single drop of love left in your heart for me, slap me. What? I mean, uh, what? What? And you got to... Seriously? Mm-hmm. Are we seriously doing this, Fidel? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want me to slap you because... Yeah, prove to me that you don't love me. E. I have waited to do that for a very long time. You are sick! Break up with him if... If he doesn't... He <laughs> girl. You wouldn't date a man that doesn't do no, that? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I would, I would, I would. You would date a man yeah, that doesn't I would, do that? I would, I would. Stop f***ing lying! For real? Yeah. Personality. <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm joking. Maybe not. What are you doing? This is the pig I've been sleeping with. That's a duck. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> what were some of the things you were told about men while growing up? Don't trust them. Yeah, I agree with that one. What is the most surprising thing you've learned about men from your experiences? You can't trust them. <laughs> Facts. Do you prefer a man who is a gentleman or a bad boy? Bad boy. Bad boy. Is it fair to say women lust after bad boys but want to settle down with nice guys? Yeah. If you happen to be looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? A quality man? Church. Yes, that's easy. When was the last time you went to church? <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Does a man have to be six foot for you to date him? No, I'm 5'3". 5'3". Five, three. So five, three. doesn't matter. So height? I would say like 5'10". It's like the lowest that that would go. I had so much hope. I was like, oh, she's gonna say like 5'7". We're good. Maybe. I would say 5'10", okay. usually. So it's not really a short king summer for you? No. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. What advice would you give to your younger self? Don't get married. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> You're free, man. You're free in the world, so don't get married, please. You know, forget about population. It will grow automatically. You know, don't get married. Don't lose your freedom and individuality. You know, and your pride, man. You're a man. You're always wanted. I'll tell you. You're yeah. always wanted. But you, once you got it, you're jailed. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts. These sizes are not facts. I wrote the book called The Honeymoon Effect. Every day your life is blah, 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 blah. Then you meet someone, you fall in love, and 24 hours later, it's like, oh my God, life is beautiful. Everything is wonderful. The music, the food, even the job doesn't bother me. And I go, why? Because you're in love. Well, that's called the honeymoon. Here's the problem, I say, but the honeymoon is usually short-lived. For some, it's short as a week or a month or a year. And then you come back to regular life. And I go, what's that all about? Remember, we have a conscious creative mind with wishes and desires and a subconscious mind the program. When people fall in love, they stop thinking. They stay what is called mindful. They stay present. Well, if you stay in the conscious mind, then you're not playing the program. Conscious mind's creative. I go, what happens if two people come together and are only playing creative? Well, then they create heaven on earth. But then why does it disappear? Because inevitably you start thinking again because you have a job, responsibilities, whatever it is. And I say, the moment you start thinking, then the behavior that you're playing is not you. It's the program. I'm Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yep. 
No, I Last didn't. Fucking talk. Look at she was so. <laughs> Gentlemen. Nothing will fuck up your life better than picking and choosing the wrong woman. This is why you have to properly vet them and ensure that she is who she says she is. And remember, don't listen to what a woman tells you. Watch her actions because majority of women are sneaky, manipulative liars. And remember, every woman is the same. Some are just worse than others. I have a good friend. She's been dating her boyfriend for probably six years, six plus years now. Long time. Yeah. And she's been cheating on him for four. Huh? She belongs to the streets. It's actually been really good to me. What's the first thing you did to her ex? I cheated. Sensational. With both of them the other night, we were drinking, and he let it slip to me that he was saving up to buy a ring because he wanted to propose soon. Hmm. So now I'm in this really awkward position. I'm closer to her as a friend. Sure. But I feel horrible for him. Because he accused me of cheating, so I decided I was actually going to go do it. Who did you cheat with? A lot of people. How many people? Never seen Maybe four or five. Jesus Christ. He never found out. He I was, I was slick out. with it. I was slick. You were slick with it. Yeah, I got away with that shit. What made you cheat? What was the feeling that made you cheat? Always cheat before they cheat. I was just bored. You feel bad? When you did it, did you feel bad or no? Be honest. No. Never. Have you ever cheated on a guy? Be honest. Yeah. yeah. I have. I have. What did you do? What, what happened? No, it wasn't just not bad. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know they were best friends until after. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You're the most jealous woman I know. You know other women? <laughs>